Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the internal pudendal artery. The internal pudendal artery supplies the external genitalia and the perineum. It is larger in males than in females. The internal pudendal artery is the smaller terminal branch of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery. It arises in the lesser pelvis, that is also called true pelvis, passes through the greater sciatic foramen below the piriformis, in between the piriformis and ischiococcygeus, also called coccygeus, turn around or hook around the posterior aspect of the ischial spine or sacrospinous ligament enters the lesser sciatic foramen passes through the lateral wall of the ischioanal fossa also called ischiorectal fossa in the pudental canal also called alcox canal as it passes through the pudental canal it terminates into deep and dorsal arteries of the penis or deep or dorsal arteries of the clitoris in female. It is accompanied by pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vein. Okay, we got that. Now, internal pudendal artery, we are looking at that here. The internal pudendal artery and vein is here. It passes along the true pelvis or lesser pelvis over the over the sacral plexus in between the pyriformis and the, and the ischiococcygeus muscle and going infra pyriformis area of the catastrophic foramen go to the gluteal region turn around the dorsal aspect of the ischial spine enters again the lesser sciatic foramen and passes along the lateral side of the ischiorectal or ischianal fossa in the pudental canal or the Alcox canal and it move forward okay the Alcox canals in the posterior part there will be branch called inferior artery from the anterior part will get the perineal artery or dorsal artery of the penis and and the deep artery of the penis sometimes deep artery of the penis and dorsal of the artery of the penis come from common artery of the penis okay so but they they should penetrate the perineal membrane to reach the superficial perineal pouch as well as to supply the erogenital triangle and anal triangle of the perineum okay so the internal pudendal artery does not supply the gluteal region. You have to know that part. It is smaller in female because male it is longer because it supplies the penis and penis length is certainly much more than that of the clitoris. Okay. In the pelvis, it passes over the sacral plexus. This is the sacral plexus. And this is the blood supply of the penis. We are seeing the dorsal artery of the penis. We are getting, seeing also the deep artery of the penis going through the corpus cavernosa okay we have also bulbourethral artery here the dorsal artery of the penis supplies the skin and fascia as well as the glands penis area glands penis area okay we got that now we'll go to the image here again blood supply we have the bulbourethral artery here branch of perineal artery okay and we have the dorsal artery of the penis and the deep artery of the penis there are branches of the internal pudendal artery may come from the common artery of the penis okay in the gluteal region they are covered by the gluteus, gluteus maximus muscle and we are seeing here the artery is accompanied by the nerve the pudendal nerve and the vein the internal pudendal vein okay it supplies the perineum and here the main root of the penis and some of the muscles here is supplied by the internal pudendal artery okay we got that here 
branches of the internal parental artery, inferior rectal artery, it supplies the lower, it supplies the lower part of the rectum as well as the anal canal and it is important specifically for the blood supply of the anal canal. The perineal artery, it supplies the perineum area plus the, we also include the perineum as a part of the perineum as the posterior one third of the scrotum. Okay, the skin around the erogenital and the and the anorectal area supplied by the perineal artery. Artery of the penis or common artery of the penis or clitoris, or clitoris has the following branches: artery to the bulb of the penis, the urethral artery, the deep artery of the penis or clitoris that goes through the corpus cavernosa, deep inside it. Dorsal artery of the penis or clitoris that passes over the dorsal surface of the, the penis or clitoris and it also supplies the glans penis area. Okay. So that's all about the anatomy of the internal parental artery. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.